Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yoanti, and today I'm bringing you my top three favorite Jordans in my collection. So these are three of my personal favorites. I know it may not be everyone else's, but it's my personal favorite. I had a lot of requests for this video, and I finally got around to doing it. I've been super busy lately uh, with work, so I finally got around to time to doing it. So uh, very excited to bring you guys what I have. First and foremost, Yoanti OG Gray Beard Tea back in stock. Full size run on uh, my website or my my shoppable website. Link is in the description. So if you want one of these, head over there and buy it. Uh, let's get into the sneakers. I'm gonna do this in order, and I'm kind of gonna do it on the fly on how I truly feel on each shoe. So I'm gonna start with third. Okay, I'm gonna start with third. Boom, Nike box. There it is. Let's let, let's go ahead and crack these open. All right, uh, number three top three Jordans in my collection, the Royal Ones. Look at that gorgeous shoe. So this is a shoe that took me a lifetime to find. A lot of people have requested for my uh, uh, sneaker story time, Jordan 1 Royal Edition. And honestly, it's a video that I don't want to force and I don't want to rush. I've, I've got a plan on it and I just need the time to make it. So stay tuned. It's, it's, it's currently in the works in my head. I just gotta literally write a script, film it. I gotta do a lot to it. I don't wanna just do a video where I tell a story. There's more to it that I wanna do for my, my story on this shoe. Because it took me forever to get. I got scammed. I turned it down on a release day for retail because I just thought, oh, I'll get it, don't worry. I, I don't like accepting like, hey, I can look out for you. I'm like, no, no, I wanna try to get it because the experience of buying a shoe is something that I wanna do. I feel guilty having to look out, you know what I mean, on, on shoes. When people are like, oh, I got you. I'm like, I want to try to buy it myself because it's the experience of purchasing a, a shoe. The Royal One, though, I mean, a Jordan 1, Jordan 1s, and even, even any type of like Dunk SB or Dunk High, it's a, an amazing basketball slash lifestyle sneaker. The Royal Colorway, black and blue, is just awesome. And honestly, the bread ones are very close. But something about the black and blue just looks very, very sick. So let's go ahead and break out the next shoe. And, and this is gonna be tough because it's it's borderline, it's borderline one and two. It, it, it's so hard to pick. I've got two sneakers here and, and they could flip flop one and two. And honestly, they do sometimes. Sometimes one's here and one's there. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do this, all right? At number two, the Black Cement 3. You look at this sneaker, you think MJ, early years, classic. But then you just look at the technology too, even just like the Air Max unit. I, I love a visible air unit on any shoe, on a Jordan, it's amazing to me. The black upper, the cement prints like this is a shoe that could release currently like you know you could release this on like a current like imagine a lebron with, with a black upper and cement print with this colorway I, it would still be sick it, they just it's just it's an instant classic nike air uh, not nike air i'm sorry jump man with air in the back i wish these were nike air uh the tongue the way it fits the way it feels everything about it is just timeless in in in, in a classic so uh, the Jordan 3, the Black Cement 3, is going to be second on my list. Like I said, some days it's number one, though. Some days I put it on, I say, this is the best Jordan of all time. This is my favorite Jordan of all time. But sometimes I switch. And sometimes I go with, bada bing, bada boom, Jordan 4 box. Because Jordan 4, oh, the smell. I've got to I've gotta have a, I'm going to do a sneaker story time on this shoe as well. This is, not only is it my favorite sneaker, Jordan sneaker of all time, it's the best smelling sneaker of all time. This specific release, uh, let me read the dates. August 23rd, 2011. I camped for these and I love Jordan 4s and I love Jordan 3s, but Jordan 4 is just, they're my type of shoe. They're what remind me of what I like to see on my feet. You know, sometimes it's a hard it's hard to describe certain sneakers and how you feel about them. You ever see a shoe and you're like, I just like it, and people are like, why? 
I, I do. You know, whatever happened to just I like it. You know, I, some people have a lot of sentimental stories and values behind sneakers, and I and I I appreciate that. You know, ten thousand times, I really do. But sometimes you can see a sneaker and just be like, I like it. I, whatever, you know what I mean? Even like a LeBron, like some people love the LeBron 12. Some people love the LeBron 11. Like, it's okay just to love a sneaker because you like the way it looks. This is a sneaker that, it just is. Everything about it. You know, like like I mentioned with the Jordan 3, the timeless, the classic. Reminds me of the year 19, you know, 89, 1990. I like that, that, that speckle. That, that screams old school and retro to me. It screams being a young kid. Uh, everything about it. And like I said, smell your white cement fours. And I've worn these a lot. And honestly, some of my other Jordans hold the stinky foot smell. These hold the smell of factory leather glue. I love them. All white sneakers. Black pants pop. Jeans pop. Khakis pop. One of the most wearable and versatile shoes in my collection. And the best thing about these is I've worn them a good amount. You know, there's some wear on the outsole, but they still look pretty clean. You know, you've got a little creasing right in there, but it's a shoe that I'll wear. And I've got no problem wearing it in any, any situation. I know that I can wipe it up, clean it up, keep it fresh. But this is number one in my collection. And quick follow-up to yesterday's video. I was able to get the sensor tag off. I brought it into work. I put it on the magnet. I was like, dit, dit, didn't pop out at first, and then got it, caught it. Mellow Ones will be rocked very, very soon. Stay tuned for the on beat. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my website, yoanti.com. Also check out my shop. Those links are in the description. If you're new here, uh, thank you for checking out my video. If you've been here forever, thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button. Uh, for my top three Jordans in my collection, I appreciate everyone watching and the support. Uh, this is the special Christmas Eve upload. Uh, hope everyone has an amazing Christmas Eve and an amazing Christmas Day. I will come to you guys on Christmas Day uh, with the video, so stay tuned. Uh, take care, guys. Peace. Yeah.